What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we are going to be talking about another movie review. And today, we are going to be reviewing Joker. Um, and all honesty, guys, if you guys have not been following me on my social media links or anything, I did not agree with this movie. I did not want to see this movie. Only reason I watched any of it was to just have an opinion, but <clears throat> I didn't even get through... Uh, into a full hour. I'm just going to say that. I got into 30, I want to say maybe 34, 35 minutes. I just can't take no more. Uh, it was completely horrible. Uh, and I'm going to go into just different things about the movie itself. Why I cannot get into it. Why I think it's bad. Um, again, I'm not going to try to put down Joaquin Phoenix uh, for his acting. I'm not... I just don't think they got the the right choice for the uh, the Joker, and why I think this does not in, in my title, man, this is not Joker at all. Uh, this is like honestly, it looks it looks fan made, guys. It don't look like a actual budget movie. The way they made it look was the looks was worse than any DC movie I've seen. It looked worse than. Batman v Superman, and that says a lot, because Batman v Superman, if you guys do not know, when I watched Batman v Superman, that was even hard for me to watch, that was even hard for me to watch, because, again, I did not like Ben Affleck as Batman, I thought that was the worst idea they could ever come up with, now they've even come up with uh, Robert Patterson being Batman, which they've stated that they don't know if they're going to have this version of the Joker in uh, Batman, which I don't think they will, and honestly, I don't think they should, because it doesn't make much sense, it does not take place during any timeline, it shows apparently that, uh, he meets the younger, uh, Bruce Wayne, which is years before, uh, that Batman actually meets Joker, and yes, we all know that Joker is, I believe, a little older than, uh, Batman, which is fine, okay, that that's fine, but that is not the origin of Joker. They screwed up the origin. It looked under budget. It looked horrible. The acting sucked. Again, I'm not trying to get on Joaquin Phoenix. It just it it, it felt like it was just so not underrated, but it was one of those. It was a try, miss, and fail, but yet it's doing so well. And honestly. You know, everybody's going to have their opinion of the movie. That's perfectly fine. I, I don't care. You know, everybody is entitled to their opinion. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Just like I am. You know, guys, you may be like, oh, well, this you know, was a great movie. I don't know why you like, I don't like it so much. Guys, Joker to me, I have a certain mind of what Joker is. Just like everybody else does. And, like, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill to me is Joker or Troy Baker. Honestly, I wish they would have gotten Troy Baker for this. Maybe it would have been a little bit better out of my personal opinion. Because, uh, honestly, I'm a little shocked why they have not <clears throat> cast him for a live-action role of Joker. He, If Mark Hamill ain't going to do it, Troy Baker should be the next one in line, out of my personal opinion. Uh, just like when they did Jared Leto as Joker. Yes, there was issues with that Joker. But they can't. I can't fully get on Jared Leto because they did not give him enough uh, leeway as Joker. Uh, there was a lot of BS behind the scenes from what I saw, and I really was wishing that they gave him more time. But with this Joker, I can I cannot take it. I I, just, I couldn't take it, and it it sucks so bad. And I'm 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 sitting there and I'm wanting to gouge my eyes out because it was just so horrible. Because oh, you know, he was a he was a so-called failing comic, and then, you know, taking care of his mom and, and doing all this. I'm like, really? I'm like, y'all, okay, first off, with, they put a lot of mental awareness in this movie. I think that's the reason why it's doing so well. And, and you know what? On a side note, I, I am for that. I am fully for that um, for anyone that has that issue. Everyone has those issues. I have those issues. Everybody. Uh, some more than others. Uh, that, I think, is the reason why I think this movie did well. 
but I'm talking about as a DC fan. Just just DC. Just DC. I'm talking this as a DC fan. For Batman, Joker, Robin, whatever have you. They did not do Joker. It's like they mashed all this up and go, here you go, here, here's Joker. No. I'm, I'm sorry, that don't fly with me. You can, you can bullshit all these other people, but you can't bullshit me and you can't bullshit these other fans that have seen Joker from the very beginning. You, you, you can't do that. Some more than others, just like when they did the Jared Logan Joker. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a chance. Did I like it fully? Not really, because there wasn't much I could really like chew on and go, hmm. There, there ain't a whole lot that I could really say, but like much from what I could see from Joaquin Phoenix, you know, his version of Joker, I, I did not like. I hated it, and I'm like, it sucks. And just like you know what they did with Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger's Joker was absolutely amazing. I, I will thoroughly say that. Um, Jack Nicholson, when he did uh, Joker, it was kind of eh, back and forth. Oh, was he the best Joker? No, he was not the best Joker. Just like they've had issues with uh, the so-called best Batman or or, or whatever. But, again, this Joker movie as a whole, the story, was like from struggling so-called comic to so-called crime boss. But, again, they did not do it the way it was supposed to be done. Because, yes, he was a struggling comic. But at the same time, he had a wife and a child on the way, lost them, lost everything in the process, his career... His his name, his his wife and child, and he went insane. Like it says in uh, uh, Batman the Killing Joke, just one bad day. And they did not do that from what I saw. And I, I did not get that far in the movie. No, I did not. But again, same time, I didn't have to, to go, okay, I can't watch this. And... You guys can, you know, have your opinion again, what have you, but from from a whole, the story was not good, the looks of it were not good, the, the way that made the Joker look was not good. It, it it was one of those, it's like they're they're spoon feeding it to, to make everybody happy, and I don't like that, and I don't like how they made it look as a whole, because it just looks so underdeveloped, and... For for any DC uh, movie that they've done, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Batman v Superman, uh, Suicide Squad, and Suicide Squad got a lot of shit, guys. Suicide Squad got a lot of shit, and honestly, yeah, there was issues with the but it was, yeah, it's still a good movie. This movie, it, it's like a plea for help. I'm sorry, it, and, you know, I'm probably squashing this movie from one end to the other, and you know, I don't care what all these other so-called you know reviews say, you know, Rotten Tomatoes, all this other kind. I don't care about that crap. I don't because. To me, that's an opinion just like I have my own opinion, just like I'm telling you guys right now. There could be so many people that could go, okay, well, your review sucks, or um, don't make no sense, you're just blabber. Okay, if you actually know something about Joker that compares with this Joker, then please let me know how it compares. Because to me, it's very, very rare comparisons right now. They, they, It was a hit and miss. It was a hit and miss. There you go. Um... Uh, I will not get this movie. I do not care about this movie. Honestly, I do not consider this DC. I do not consider this Joker. I do not. I don't. I don't know. No. DC needs to literally work on its movies. It is doing well in the series aspect, but it needs to work on its movies severely. Uh, the last good DC movie I saw was Aquaman. So Shazam was was all right. Wonder Woman was good. Um, Batman v Superman sucked. Superman was all right. Um, they need to work on the Batman movie. But, again, I think that's going to be a fail, too. But, guys, let me know what you think about Joker in the comments down below. Did you guys see it? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys dislike it? Let me know your comments. Again, this has been a very controversial comp uh, topic that I have put on my social media. There has been so much that I've wondered about what is the right thing to actually say. But I did not like it. And just because I did not like it doesn't mean you guys can't like it either. This is just something to get my creativity out there. This is something to get out my uh, my opinion on 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 a subject that is just a subject. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, let me know. If you guys did not, let me know. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your day. Uh, let me know if you guys did watch the movie. What did you like? What did you dislike about the movie? Or did you even go watch it to begin with? Let me know your comments in the comments down below. hope you guys are enjoying your day, and I'll be seeing you on the very next one.